What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new unboxing video. I know we haven't had one of these on the channel for quite some time, but I was just waiting for the right phone. So today we have the highly anticipated Doogie Mix 2. This is a bezel-less phone that has a 6-inch screen with an 18x9 screen ratio. We also have the Helio P25 CPU, which is an octa-core CPU. We have 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. And from what I've seen online, the phone does look very, very good. And with that being said, let's get this box open and check the phone out. Alright, so we get the black box on the front here. We see the brand name, we see the model name, which is the Mix 2. And on the back, we just see the IMEIs and the color of the device, which is uh, black in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and get this box opened. Alright, let's put that all the way there. So we have the phone right here, we'll leave the phone down for a quick second and let's see what we have in the box here. So we get uh, something in here, let's see. So we have a case, the phone comes with a case. This is a black case, it's made out of plastic but um, it's very very soft. Um, so it reminds me of um, a case that I've seen on the Doogie, no not the Doogie, the Xiaomi Mix back in the day. So we'll leave that case there. We also get a screen protector from the looks of it, however I'm not gonna be using a screen protector. And of course we have the user manual in here, but um, I honestly don't know who reads um, user manuals these days. Alright, so that's all we have in there, we'll leave that aside. So we get uh, an adapter from the USB-C to a 3.5mm audio jack, so I'm gonna assume that the phone doesn't have um, a 3.5mm audio jack. We get another adapter from USB-C to a micro USB. So we'll leave this one aside as well. We have um, the SIM card tray tool. We have the USB-C cable. And we'll leave that one aside. And of course the power adapter and um, this is gonna be a fast charger. So definitely a fast charger. All right, so that's all we have in the box. So we'll leave that aside. And now let's check out the phone. Wow, okay, so let's remove this sticker, let's listen to this. And there is actually a screen protector on the back of the phone, so let's remove this one as well. So we have two cameras on the back and if I remember correctly these are a 16 and a 13 megapixel cameras. Uh, I've seen the specs but I haven't actually... Um, I don't actually remember um, the specs, but um, I'll check that out for the full review. So on the front here we have another screen protector. And I removed both of them. So the front is a 5.99 um, inches display. And this should look very very close to the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So aside from that we have the fingerprint scanner on the back there. At the top here um, we have the slot for the SIM card, so just as we've seen on Samsung devices, nothing on the left hand side and at the bottom we have what could be two speakers, however um, I'm not sure, we'll have to check that out um, later on. And on this side we have the power button and the volume keys. So the frame is made out of metal from uh, how it feels and this could be glass on the back, I'm not 100% uh, sure, but this could uh, be glass on the back there. Right, so why don't we turn this on, and on the front here we actually have two cameras as well, and if I remember correctly these are um, 8 megapixel cameras, but again I'm gonna check that out for the full review. So you see the brand name and powered by Android and um, I'm just gonna wait till the phone starts up, I'm gonna set it up and then um, come back um, here and uh, we'll check out the phone uh, again. Alright, so it took me about 3 minutes to set this up and I have to say the screen looks absolutely gorgeous and this is not even the maximum brightness, check this out. But if I leave it like that, um, we can't exactly see it um, on the camera. So um, I have my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus right here. And uh, size-wise they are very very similar, of course the S8 Plus has a larger screen but um, this phone costs about $900 and this one is around $250 if I um, remember correctly, so a big um, price difference. So uh, let's see what apps come pre-installed, we get some um, Google apps uh, but that's about it and it looks um, somewhat close to stock Android as well. And if we go to settings here, uh, just like the stock um, settings um, on Android basically. 
but about here we can see the model name which is the mix 2 we have the doogie os version 2 and android 7.1.1 so very very cool so what i want to do next is install the antutu benchmark and the geekbench 4 and i'm just gonna run those um, two because i'm curious to see the scores um, that we are getting i'm um, imagining somewhere around 70,000 for um, the antutu benchmark so um, i'm gonna do that and then um, come back and we'll go from there while those are getting installed i wanted to check out um, the camera quickly so let's start the camera towards myself and uh, if i remember correctly we have two 8 megapixel cameras on the front So the camera app it's uh, very quick so let's check out one of those um, pictures oh look at that isn't that cute all right so the pictures do look good with the front facing camera and i'm turning the camera around so let's see what we can take a picture of um, around here. And let's check out um, that picture. So once again the picture does um, look very good but um, again I'll have, um, I'll have to play with the, the camera a bit more, go outside, see how it does um, in uh, low light conditions and um, so on. So these are almost installed I guess, um, so I'm gonna start running the Antutu Benchmark, the Geekbench 4 and um, I'll come back with the results. So I got the benchmark results on the Geekbench 4 and the Antutu Benchmark. Um, on Geekbench 4 the multi-core score is about 3800 and that's normal for um, this CPU. And on the Antutu Benchmark we get a score of about 65000 and uh, once again this is a normal score for that CPU. So for the 10 minutes that I got um, to play with the phone, I'm quite impressed and the phone doesn't feel like a Doogie phone anymore. I mean the original Doogie mix was okay, but it wasn't the greatest phone out there, but this one feels much much um, better, at least for the 10 minutes that um, I got to try it. I've also registered the fingerprint, let's do that for the first time. So very accurate but maybe not um, the fastest out there but um, very accurate, well actually it's quite fast too. So not, not, uh, not too bad. So overall the phone does feel very very nice, the build quality reminds me a lot of a Xiaomi phone um, for some reason and not a Doogie phone um, anymore because um, Doogie phones in the past weren't um, that amazing but um, with this one, um, well I think they're uh, moving in the right direction. I mean even the launcher is changed because the launcher on the original Doogie Mix wasn't the greatest, this one it's closer to stock Android and it kind of reminds me of the new Samsung um, UI as well. So definitely an improvement um, over their past um, devices. Um, I'm gonna start using this phone um, from today and um, it's gonna take me a couple of days to, to get a better feel for it, but I will definitely do a full um, review in a few days. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment um, down below and I'll try to answer um, all your questions. Um, I was actually reading about um, the second camera on this phone and supposedly the second camera, the second front facing camera, it's a wide angle um, lens camera. I actually wanted to see how that works. Hmm. I wonder. Ah, look at that. So a big, big difference. Whoa. So this is going to be very useful for like uh, group pictures and um, stuff like that. So just in case um, if uh, you're wondering about that um, second camera. Alright, so um, if you have any questions, once again, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer um, any questions that um, you may have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.